Hey guys, it's the Game Fun of It, and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I am back with Story Time, but this is going to be a bit different. This is going to be. At, let's talk about one thing. As you can see on screen right now, bullying. Now you may be thinking, why am I talking about this? Well, it can be very serious, and let me just say, if you have been affected, by bullying in the past or you've been a bully listen to this video because this is going to explain how to prevent it how i've been affected with bullying and how i've kind of solved it to like like go away so let's start off so yes i have been bullied on social media um i've been bullied in real life because the way i am because I was just saying that I've got these learning issues and people pick up on it straight away and like bully me because of that and because of that I've literally like a, like just literally crawl, like literally just even now I'm trying to like talk to people but I don't know I feel like I'm gonna say the wrong things I feel like they're gonna pick on me for saying them things so let's get in with the video so I'm gonna show you my so, like sorry well not show you but just talk about the story so i'm gonna tell you the t a time when i was in year four now you might have heard this before when i started in but actually when i was in year four the first that was like when it started to call when i got bullied basically i was the new girl as you seen from the last video which is, this is gonna continue from that one uh, the first one I did on the channel. So basically, when I first joined, I had some learning difficulties. I was a slow speaker. I struggled to pronounce my words, and it. I I can say a lot of things like sick. I, I I everyone thinks I'm saying this word like sick, like actually going to throw up sickness. But a lot of times I was talking about sick, and no one really understood me what I was on about. And basically from that, since I was like a slow light talker because I had learned to feed, people picked on me uh, because of that. And I, I became that one person in the class that they thought, let's, let's target this one, let's target her. Let's target her, just because she... Like has problems with us tagger, and which they did, they targeted me, and I hated it because every time I walked in, I was scared, and from that I had to move schools. In total, I went to seven primaries because I wouldn't get in the education that I needed for my learning degrees. I I was getting bullied in each school every time I tried to make friends. For some reason. It basically caught on. So every time I went to talk to people in groups, they always seemed to push me away because the NC knew I had these learning difficulties. I started talking, but no one would take any clue what was going on and started making fun at me. So as time went on, I started bonding with different people from different things. And I found one to one school that was kind of like me. But it suddenly ended because I had to leave. But I was in tears for the rest of my life, gleaning on to high school, and I just could not make friends. I, ever since I found out that I had these problems, I just couldn't make friends. Like, I was, like, in, like... Like when I was in year two and so, stuff, because of that. So ever since then, I got bullied in high school. This this really affected me. This is like the first case of bullying. Now, all that time, I never told my parents what was going on. Until like, just around about year five-ish, I told them. They went into schools, I brought me out of some schools. But one day, I was waiting for the bus. And for some reason, uh, this girl... I was like year seven. I was in year seven, brand new school in this year, ten girl, ten eleven, wasn't it sure? But she decides 
like to have a fag. If you don't know what a fag is, it's basically a cigarette. I just use it because it's the Irish term. But anyway, so she decided to have a fag outside the bus stop, and basically her friend was there, and she decided to basically target me when the bus was coming, and basically set my hair on fire. And that from then it spread down. I've got mum was gonna come. My, my, I told my mum the bus stop. When I got on the bus, and they was going to call the police, but they told the girl, my mum was going to call the police, but that never happened, and that girl only got expelled for about, I think it was a week. Didn't really do that much, so after then, the word spreads out. As soon as I got back into school, everything about that kind of just catched on. I wasn't doing well, everyone's picking on me. And I just kind of just went in this stage where I wanted to leave that school because it was the same thing was happening again. I used to cry in the corner. Like anyway, I wanted to find that hidey hole and cry every break. That was what went on. But after that, I I moved to a brand new high school, and this high school is the high school I go to now. And let me just say. This is where the next stage of bullying that I discovered was cyberbullying. I got cyberbullied online by people from that school. When I first joined, it was like acting all these smiles, like pretending, like to like to know and everything. And people were like pretending and stuff, pretending they were actually friends with me, but. As soon as I went on my Facebook account, ever since there I went on my Facebook account, I I was just like I was like on oh, one day I was like so happy I wanted to see all my treats, play some games on my laptop, on my Facebook account because you play like, those pet games and stuff. I was on there just playing next minute I took out my phone because I got a notification. And on that phone, it came up with a fight into a group chat. At the time, I had no idea what was the group chat on Facebook, so I joined it. So it was connecting me in to join, and that's when the truth kind of came out. I was reading the comments of people from that school, what they were actually saying about me. Saying that she, I was a strange girl. And, yeah, basically picked on me and I. So I, 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 I thought, I can't know this. I can't go into school the next day and, like, just, like, walk blindly like I don't know. So I decided to talk in the chat. And once I started talking, everyone started to basically, oh, like, started to panic because they knew it was me. I said, why? So this is the truth or something. Like that. I don't know what I said, but I know I typed it somewhere and it's gone now. So I told my mum. Told her that these people has been bullying me online. Tell them basically. So my mum basically got rid of my Facebook. That was Facebook gone. I don't use Facebook anymore because of that. Soon then my Facebook was gone. I just the next day everyone like knew what was going on. That everything. I, I it's very hard to explain. I just don't want to share too much about it. But that's how I got bullied, and now I kind of do get bullied, but. It's not as much as you to like I do get bullied sometimes just where I say stuff or anything, but just before I end I want to show you what you could do that like, at the beginning uh, if you get if you feel like you're getting bullied online or on school, tell a parent, tell them because they will understand you the most if you're literally on your browser one day, next minute the mean comments comes up of being bullied, please go and Go and tell a parent. Tell a parent that you're getting bullied, or tell any teachers, or even t like t go go to um Childline. Childline can help you. I never went on Childline because I didn't know about it until I got into high school. But they can, if you leave your comment there, they can sure to get back to you. And let me just say that if if you've been like bullied. It, if you've been so, if what I'm trying to say, if you've been bullied or the person that's been bullied, don't do that person. If you're the, the person who's like 
decided to pick one day on this one person just for fun you may not know how much you are hurting that person and there's a lot of people don't know now I, I guess I could say I'm kind of a bully but not now now sometimes some cases can lead on to that person from like thinking they're so angry because that person has like bullied them and think they need to become the bully that's what I decided to do in my new school after I found the treat I just went out to this random person girl and decided to be mean to her and she took it the wrong way and I, I, I just I kind of came the bully people started looking at me weirdly but I, I, I soon talked to her like a year later explaining that I'm sorry, I was just getting bullied and she can't understand what was going on. But if you're the person getting bullied, please tell someone. Please say, I'm getting bullied. I don't know how to say it. Please tell someone. I, if I look back now on my past, I wish I had said something. If if I kept in so much, I was just shy to like say it. I feel like, like I knew... I had to tell someone but I just didn't know when to speak that's when just later after I left schools I finally had the courage to speak up that I was being bullied and pl please if you're that person like, being the intimidator like bullying that someone please stop don't be that person be the bigger person if you see someone online getting bullied like help them help them Tell them, hey, you don't need to listen to this person. You need to go to this to help them through it. Help them see that there's a better way. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I was uh, kind of really long for the old so far. I'm just tired. I'm just kind of upset because every time I see people do this, and I feel that I I don't have. I, it's not in my business, but please, if you know your friend, please let them know that they've been affected. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you've been affected by the video, please let me know in the comments if you've been affected by bullying. I've been the person who bullied and quickly realised that it is a no-no. You should not bully someone just because they're different. Or just because you feel like it. So, please let me know in the comments how you feel about this video. And if you knew, if you know someone, or if you're the person getting bullied, please go and tell someone. If you if you feel comfortable writing in the comments or tell me on Twitter or on my Instagram, just like tell me what is if you've been affected like by this video. I have said if you feel like you need to tell someone. By all means, I am here, like, I, if you, literally, I am here, if you want to comment below, comment my Twitter saying you've been affected by bullying, and I can probably help you see the light in what you can probably do. If you've been the person who, who's, if you're the person watching this video who's been bullying people, please stop, because what you're doing is wrong, and it should not continue, go that you go to that person, say you're sorry, make up and say sorry for bullying you and try and make up to them the best you can. Because if you if the more you bully them, the more they will get upset and the more they can quickly change into the bully and making you back down saying you've done your dirty work. So please go to the message saying bullying is wrong and thank you so much for watching. I hope you did and all enjoyed. Please go follow me on my trail and Instagram for kind of updates here and there and stuff like that but anyway make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you on next video bye guys look at this this is oh yeah but i made this mmm yummy anyway that's not the point i'm gonna go drink that because i'm really thirsty i'm tired and i need to get this video over. by the way that's my leg dad's legs wiggle dad Wiggle! <laughs> yeah! Bye, guys!